Dear students, in this tutorial we will see the carry look ahead generator or carry look ahead adder. Carry look ahead adder that means uh, we are going to design a circuit that will generate the carry in advance or we can say that uh, we will try here to predict the carry of each stage so first of all we will see the problem why a carry look ahead adder is needed so let us consider a 4 bit adder 4 bit full adder circuit so from there we will see what is the prob uh, problem let us draw the block diagram of a 4 bit adder Suppose these are the full adders. So we have two inputs in every stage and two outputs one with a sum and another with a carry. Let us assume two four bit numbers. Suppose A and B. A3, A2, A1. Uh, zero these are the four bits and here also we have b3 b2 b1 b0 so if we take the sum s equal to s3 s2 s1 s0 so we will add these two numbers and we'll get the sum here and we will also get another carry a0 b0 then we have a carry input that means here we are writing 0 therefore c minus 1 that means it is from previous stage and we have sum s0 and carry c0 in the second stage we have a1 b1 and sum s1 carry c2 These are four others, four full letter circuits. One, two, three, four. These are the four full letter circuits. We have input carry, and these are the input bits that we are going to add. And this is the sum output, and this is the carry output. Similarly, in the second full letter, we have sum and carry output. Sorry, this is two. C one. So in the second stage we have C1 and third stage C2, fourth stage we have put carry is as C3. So here we can see that first stage is receiving the carry input, but the second stage requires to wait for the C out to generate. After this, the full addition operation is complete, and this output carry is the input carry to this second full adder. So we have to wait some time. That means the delay propagation delay of this full adder circuit. So similarly for this C1 to generate, we have to wait another delay of this logic of this circuit to get the input carry for the full adder for we have to wait this three stage to complete. So this is the one of the problem we are facing whenever we are adding 4 bit numbers. Uh, in a carry look ahead adder, carry look ahead adder, we will try to see how we can predict this C0, C1, C2 at the initial period of time. So that means we are uh, designing a 
carry look ahead generator that means we will try to uh, predict the carries at the different stages c0 c1 and c2 here we'll try to predict it we will try to see only the carry portion of this full addition operation so, so we will start with the truth table for carry out so truth table for carry out we have three inputs and one output carry out so we have a combination 0 0 0 So these are the 8 combinations we have. So we will get carry output as 0 0 Now we will make the KMF for the carry out. So we have to put this carry out here 0001 0001 0111 So we will find out an expression for C out c out equal to so for this term we get a b plus for this term we get a b bar c plus for this term we get a bar b c c means here carry in c in Therefore, we can write a b plus c in within bracket a x or b. Here we can see two things. Two here we can consider two cases. Here we can see that the output is one irrespective of the carry in. That means the carry out is dependent on the input here. We can represent it as a b. This is the term a b. So let us consider here these four cases. Here we can see that whenever any one is high, that means when a x or b is one, one, then and c in is equal to 0 and c in is equal to 0 these two case first case and third case a x or b is 1 and c input is low c out equal to 0 c out equal to 0 in these two cases and for the second and the fourth case we get that a x or b is here also 1 but c in also 1 therefore the output is also 1 that means that it is dependent on the carry in therefore we can represent this term as c in within bracket a x or b we get the expression for carry out c out equal to so this term this term is called as the carry generator and this term is called the carry propagator this means this uh, this z is independent of the input carry carry is generated when input carry is 1 and that means c out equal to 1 when c in equal to 1 We can write this expression as c0 equal to z plus e c in and we can generalize it as c i equal to z i plus p i c i minus 1 here we are writing c i minus 1 because 
this is the carry input carry inputs means it is from the previous state that's why we are writing it as ci minus 1 this is the generalized expression for carry out now let us consider a few cases when i equal to 0 star equal to c0 equal to g0 plus p0 c minus 1 when i equal to 1 we get c1 equal to g1 p1 c0 so from here we can replace c0 with equation 1 from equation equal to g1 plus p1 fall into g0 plus p0 c minus 1 so we get c1 plus p1 g0 plus p1 p0 c minus 1 this is equation number 2 now let us consider the third case when i equal to 2 we have c2 equal to g2 plus p2 c1 and we can put the value of c1 from equation 2 here now we will see the last case when i equal to 3 we get c3 equal to g3 plus p3 c2 we can replace this c2 with this equation right hand side of this equation of equation number 3 we get equations 1 2 and 3 and 4 we can see that the carry terms independent of the previous carry that means they are now dependent on the first carry input c minus 1 each term you can see we have c minus 1 we will make the cla generator diagram This P3 we will get here P3 XR C2 C3 Here we do an XR operation We get S3 equal to A3 XR A3 small A3 XR B3 XR C2 C1 This is the block diagram of the carry look ahead generator. From here we can see that we are just taking the input bits, input digits A0, B0, A1, B1, A2, B2, A3, B3 
and from from this we are getting generating some uh, propagator term and generator term and from here instantly we are getting the s3 term this output some outputs are only dependent on these are the input bits and these input carry at the first stage so now these some uh, terms are uh, dependent on the input the input bit uh, input digits and the first stage carry input so in this way we can increase the efficiency of the circuit this circuit is superior in terms of speed and enhance the efficiency of the digital circuit thank you for watching please like share and subscribe to my channel